Hey guys, this is the Brown Cow here, and today I'm going to do a tutorial on CC Lens in Sony Vegas uh, only. There's no plugins required. Uh, so basically, as you can see here, I have the basic part pulled out. It's a uh, nice triple by CPU, uh, whatever his name is, CPU. His, his link will be in the description. Um, but anyways, where the part where I want a CC lens, would, which would be right when, right would be here, where it, the drop kind of starts. But as you can see, I'll put the shot over here. So you're going to go at the part where you want the CC lens to start and stop. You're going to pre-render that out. Please excuse my documents, it's really terrible. Um, I don't know why this would take so long. Oh, there we go. See, I have good rendering settings. Then you're going to want to open up uh, another Sony Vegas. As you can see, I got this one open right here. It's probably not recording my voice, but I was having troubles with it. So you're going to want to find the thing that you just wanted. So it's t tile. And you're going to want to... Hold on, let me delete these. I don't know what it's doing. There we go. I'm going to drag it in. You're going to want to maintain aspect, loop, and disable sample. You want to click all of those. And same in this one. Uh, you go into here. And see, it goes like that. And you're going to want to create nine. You're going to want to create nine of them. You're going to right click, group, remove from. And then you're going to the first one. And you're going to want to zoom it all the way out. And zoom out till these lines are parallel with the ones around it. You, I can't zoom out all the way. There, that's an easier way to show it. Is so it, there, it's a three by three square. Um, then you're going to get out of it. You're going to copy it. And you're going to take this one and you're going to keep it in the same spot. Only you're going to kind of make it parallel to that one. So sometimes there'll be one little part overlapping. You can just cut that out in the next part um, once you're finished with this. And then you just keep on doing this. Hold on. I've only done this a couple times, so I'm probably not going to be. You, you're probably going to have to move some of these around, so then if it so it doesn't over overlap or anything. Whoops. There. Sometimes you're going to have to make them bigger or smaller, uh, depending on the size of the clip itself. That was the wrong one. But it doesn't really matter because it's not noticeable at all. Is it this one? Yes, I think it's this one. Yeah, it is. Make that a bit bigger. There. Now you just continue doing that. And so there's going to be one side that's slightly bigger than the other side, but it's barely noticeable unless if you sit there forever. Skype's going off really crazy here. I'm gonna overlap this one. That was terrible. Oh yeah, this one must be a bit bigger. So yeah, you're gonna have to toy around with the uh, settings a bit. Well, that really sucks. I do gotta move this one up anyways. That's the wrong one. That's why. There we go. This one. Fit up a bit. There we go. Sorry, this is, like I said, I haven't done this a ton, so if you have it constantly locked to uh, this uh, sync cursor, you're gonna want to. Um, probably turn that off because it gets quite annoying because sometimes it'll 
Mess it up and you gotta re-render it. This is my first tutorial. Uh, I it was requested actually quite a bit. Oh, this one's gonna have to be just a bit bigger. Don't know what happened there. Uh, Is making no difference at all. Uh, all right, whatever. I'll just leave it like that. This isn't really gonna be anything big. This is just something that I'm kind of doing to pass time, actually, honestly. Well, actually, no, I'm gonna I'm supposed to be working on an episode, so. Well, two episodes, so. Yeah. Sorry if you're watching this, I am going to work on it literally right after until I go to bed. If I can get it done. Um, I'll probably, when I make my editing pack, if that video gets 50 likes on to make it, I'll include the video file in this and then you don't have to watch this video every time and I'll have uh, downloads to the uh, settings for all of these so it doesn't take so long this one's gonna have to be a bit bigger too like I said it's it is a hit and it is basically a uh, trial and error Alright, so as you can see, it's just that this part, this is a really sloppy example, actually. But whatever. Then you're going to want to take it. Render it again. Then you're going to go back in here and import it in. gonna move this up here and the part that it rendered out like that you want to fill in the bo box and pretty much split it there and split it there because this is gonna go on top and at the very beginning where you want it to start which is well at the very beginning regardless you're gonna want to take it and zoom in to there and then play it till where you want and right there is where you want it to uh, be at the maximum so then you restore it and you copy it then at the very end paste it again oh yeah then you're gonna want to delete that other audio clip I forgot to do that and then there you go. Oh, uh, I hope you like this tutorial. Uh, might as well subscribe to for more because I'm probably gonna do more. Uh, so uh, yeah. I uh, hope you. Well, I already said I hope you like this is obviously my first tutorial because I have a lot of ums and all that but hopefully I'll get better and of course I gotta put in the final thing so I don't know if this is a lag or not so yeah bye time to get real